Good morning, Amanda. Thank you for the question. Your question is, was there actually things taken out of the Bible? Meaning things we don't know about. I have wondered that often myself. And in order to answer your question, I would have to know about the things that we don't know about. So, <laughs> there's, I guess the simplest answer would be that I believe we have the complete version of the Bible. So I sent you two links, um, and both of them are from Digging for Truth, which are a group of people uh, who put out publications about the truth of God's Word. And there's a professor on there who's an expert in the preservation uh, and tracking the preservation of the text of the Bible. Now, he talks about the Old Testament. The Septuagint is the oldest, most complete text of the Bible. I think it is complete of the Old Testament that we have. Um, and I think he said it dates around within a couple hundred years of zero A.D., and um, the, the next texts that we have are, uh, they call it the Masoretic Text. And that is a um, text where in about the 1600s, I believe he was saying in Venice, Vienna, somewhere in, somewhere in Europe, um, the Jews took everything that we have and they put vowels into the Jewish text. And so there was a standardization of the reading of the text. And uh, my friend Tony and Paul, they said that um, they added some good points about uh, there's a possibility that there may not have been a standard text all along. Uh, the professor in the Digging for Truth episode said that he thinks there was a standard text and uh, I think he believes that because when people when scribes update the text, there had to have been a standard text, or else you would get chaos within the text. And there's there's both sides of that opinion, but in general, I think that God preserves His Word and He uses us to do it. And when we fail, um, when God gives us a word or some sort of encouragement for the people to our left and to our right, and we fail to encourage them, God will send somebody else. To encourage them and and uh, when one person fails God will send another person who succeeds and throughout history he's shown that when he wants us to have something in spoken form or in written form God goes out of his way to preserve that and that's the impression that I'm under um, as for things that didn't make it into the canonization of the Bible that would be the Apocrypha uh, such as like the book of Enoch um, and some other books I haven't read them. I'm still going through the Bible. <laughs> but uh, uh, thank you for the question. That was a very good one. I wonder that often myself. God bless.